Hello everybody, hola a todos, cześć wszystkim. In this video I'm going back to authentication flows to show you how powerful and flexible Keycloak is. In this video I'm going to set up an authentication flow which will allow the user to log in using three alternative mechanisms. The first one will be the password, the second one will be web out passwordless. I will use uh, fingerprints uh, here. Uh, I'm on MacBook Pro and I can use its fingerprints reader and uh, touch ID technology. The third option would be one-time passwords and uh, the use of uh, authenticator applications uh, which generate uh, the six digits uh, we all know from all over the internet. Okay, so uh, I will create a new realm for customer say 101 and uh, we will use it to set up everything from the scratch. Okay, so let's add a new realm customer 101 okay and first let's modify the authentication flow for the browser as you know from my previous video the default browser authentication flow you cannot really change it right uh, you only uh, can copy it and uh, modify and i'm going to do this right now I will call it uh, free alternatives. Okay, and now I can modify it. Uh, I will remove uh, this part. I will also remove username password form because it will actually ask for both username and password on a single form and uh, I don't want uh, I don't want this behavior. Okay, so uh, the first will be to ask the user for the username, only the username. So I'm selecting username form. Okay, it's required, of course. I will add now, so I will add now the flow. Uh, I will call it uh, passwordless or password or OTP flow type generic and uh, I will mar mark it as required so username full form will be required and this flow will be required and let's configure this um, flow now we will add execution the first execution will be the password form and it will be alternative the second execution will be web of passwordless authenticator. We will mark it alternative as well. And third one will be OTP form. And we will mark it as alternative. Okay. Uh, out requirement updated and how do we read this authentication flow username form is required this flow is required but it comprises of three alternatives either password or passwordless authenticator or otp form they are free all alternatives but one of them is required okay so i'm going to bindings I will update the default browser flow to free alternatives and I will save it. Okay, uh, we require either passwordless or OTP. So we have to, whenever we create a new user, we have to make sure that setting up passwordless authenticator or OTP is required. So uh, from the required actions, I will select configure OTP as a default action. I don't see passwordless 
uh, required action uh, in here. So I'm going to register it. There is a list uh, available here. So I'm going to regist select register passwordless, hit OK, and I'm going to mark it as a default action. So every new user will have to set up OTP and uh, passwordless um, web out. OK. One more uh, settings we have to change just for the purpose of this demo. Uh, I will enable user registration. OK. And I will use this client as an example. I will copy it into my second browser so that I have two separate sessions. OK. So uh, I'm presented with the customer 101 login screen and as you can see the standard uh, login form is already different right it's only asking me for the username or email we don't have any users uh, i have enabled registration so i'm going to register a new user uh, now okay so uh, let's quickly create a new user Okay, uh, as a default action, required action, I selected uh, uh, OTP and uh, passwordless. So I now have to set up uh, passwordless. So I'm going to quickly open Authenticator app on my, on my mobile phone. I will scan the QR code and uh, I will provide the digits uh, in here. Okay, and now I have to uh, set up passwordless uh, authenticator. I will actually use uh, this device uh, rather than USB security key. And uh, I will use uh, Touch ID on my uh, MacBook Pro. So I'm going to scan my fingerprints right now. OK. And uh, it uh, worked. So uh, I'm going to sign out from this application and uh, navigate back to uh, Keycloak uh, Admin Console. Let's check the users. That's the user that I just uh, created. Uh, if we go into the edit, we can see in the credentials tab that uh, I have password, OTP, and passwordless uh, free credentials uh, defined for this user. Okay, so it worked. Let's see this now in action. The username I used is simply L1, and I'm going to sign in. OK, by default, uh, the first alternative is presented. It is the password. However, there is try another way option displayed under the sign in button. So let's uh, click it. And you can see that we have three alternative ways to get into our application. The first one is the password. The second one is the OTP authenticator application. And the third one is the security key for passwordless sign-in. You've already seen uh, logging in with passwords, uh, with uh, OTP in my previous videos. So, of course, I'm going to use the security key passwordless sign-in. Okay, uh, now my touch bar is blinking and there is a notification from Google Chrome uh, and asking uh, me to... Uh, use Touch ID to verify your identity on my machine. So I'm going to scan my fingerprints uh, right now. And I mean, I didn't have to provide uh, credentials uh, for, my, um, for my account. Guys, that's uh, all for today's uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, 
If you did, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how to integrate Keycloak with uh, AWS API gateways. So stay tuned. Thanks.